Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would just bring you along. Today I am making a glue holder for um, my table and I have one for my desk, but I also work at this at my conference table and I don't like to switch it back and forth. And I really do like to have a glue holder to hold my glue upside down, especially like the tacky glue. Um, you know, it just takes forever, especially when it starts to get low. It takes forever for it to get to the top. So it's nice to be able to just put the little lid back on and just sit it upside down so that when I'm ready for it, um, I can use it. And this is the one that I have for my desk. This is what I'm doing. And um, on this one, I got impatient after I put my um, tissue paper on there and I wanted it to dry faster. So I was heating it with my heat gun and I melted it. And so what I did was, because I melted like one spot, I just kind of melted the whole thing and just kept pressing on it until I got it level. And then it just gave me some interest. It gave me some little, you know, folds in here. And so I was able to stick some ruffles in the folds and, you know, it just went ahead and gave me some interest. But I was able to fix it just by pressing on it while I was heating it just to get it so that it was level because it had like went very lopsided when I was trying to dry it. So, but these work great to hold your glue and it's so easy. Um, This was just a... It was a some kind of a juice jar. And um, so with this one, I just cut the, this was also one of the juice jars. This was like one of the like kind of rectangle shaped ones. But um, that one I don't, don't have a bottom on. And in case I forget to put the lid on my glue and I set it upside down, it will drip. So um, I thought, well, this time what I did was I just went ahead and I cut the top off of the juice bottle and then I cut the bottom off of the juice bottle and just they, the top fit inside the bottom. So I just stuck them together. So now this one, if it were to drip, it would not drip on my table or whatever I had it sitting on. So that's what I did there, but you don't have to. This is the first time I've ever put a bottom on it and you could put a bottom on it with cardstock or with anything that you wanted to, if you wanted a bottom. So, but, um, so I just thought I'd just show you the only thing that I do is I just put some tissue paper on it with water glue. And then when that dries, I paint it and I decorate it. So I thought while I was building it, I'm more of a builder than a decorator. It takes me forever to decorate things. Um, but I thought I would just bring you along. Now, this is just water glue and water glue um, is what I use for decoupage about 90% of the time. Um, once in a while, I do use like Mod Podge or something, but, and then I just put it on. It doesn't have to be straight. Um, I like it to have a little bit of texture. And so I kind of just wrinkle it up a little bit. You don't have to, you can make it very flat. Whenever you're doing decoupage, you always need to have your decoupage underneath and on top of whatever you're putting on your project. Um, and that makes it stick better. Um, I know that I see a lot of people that like just put it on top and, you know, to me, I don't know how that makes it stick. Maybe it works totally fine, um, but the way that I do it is on the top and on the bottom. I tape this together with masking tape because masking tape is paintable, it's glueable, um, you know, it has the type of um, texture and what it's made out of to go ahead and accept those things without it peeling off and so that's why I go ahead and use masking tape whenever I'm going to paint or um, decoupage something so but I thought that I'd come and just let you know um, I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the art studio uh, probably by next week it is about 90% done it's getting there it may never get completely done. They never really do um, because you get them one way. I can't tell you how many times now that I have, you know, kind of changed things around a little bit because they just weren't quite, quite working. And um, so, but I'm going to do that. And then I will do a, a part series where I just do each section because the art studio is, is fairly large to get it all and kind of do a 
a real walkthrough of each of the sections. So I will go ahead and kind of show you what I've got and then I will do some parts to that. Um, and I have decided, I think that for the new series, and hopefully you'll like this, um, I think that I'm going to call it, you asked for it, crafting on a budget. And what I'm looking for, and I know that a lot of you have given me suggestions or asked for things that I did not get to, and I do apologize for that. Um, but this series is going to be if there's something that you want me to try. If you want, let's say you want Mod Podge, but you don't have any, I can show you how to make water glue. Um, you know, that type of thing where it's like, I really would like to do this. If you want a bead roller, if you want, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking, because you know, the biggest thing about crafting is, is that you watch people craft and it's like, I don't have that. You know, a couple of things kind of happen. Number one, you put it on your list. I need to get this. And by the time you actually find it or get it, especially if it's a, like a, a recycled item um, where you have to wait and find it at a secondhand store or something, it takes a while. And then by the time you find it, you forget what it is that you wanted to make with it. I have done that before. Um, or, you know, the expense is just too much, especially when it's like, oh, that person's doing that. I want to try that. Oh, that person's doing that. I want to try that. And before you know it, um, I did this too. Um, with paper crafting, when I started paper crafting, I didn't have a whole lot of anything. Um, it is not something that I did before. I've just, you know, been doing it for probably... Oh, I'd say it's been about 10 years now, but before that, you know, my, my art was different. And, um, so yeah, I bought a whole lot of things I overbought and I also bought things because I knew that eventually I would have this studio and hopefully I will, um, be having some, some crafting classes, creative classes. Um, and so, you know, I would buy things that that I knew that I would need kind of more than one of because I would be having more than one person at the same time. So, but it's so easy to just overbuy. And then sometimes you buy something, you buy everything to do this one project because you really want to do it. And then you find out you don't like it. You probably will never do it again. And you just spent all that money. So that is going to be the new series. And um, you can leave your comments below if you um, have anything that you would like me to try and recreate. Um, if there's something that you don't have that you want, that you want to know, is there something that you can easily substitute for whatever it is you're looking for? Because you can substitute a whole lot of things um, and come up with the same result as everybody else. So, you know, we don't have to have what everyone else has in order to to do that so um so yeah just let me know below if there's something that you would like me to put on the list and that is going to be my new tuesday weekly series and um and i hope that that's going to be something that will interest you so i think that it's something i would like to do i really do enjoy trying to figure things out i enjoy saving money um you know, I enjoy helping others as far as like trying to figure out how to be able to craft without breaking the budget. Because the thing is, if you spend too much money on your crafting items, it will not be as enjoyable. Because you'll be thinking about the fact that, you know, man, I, you know, I spent money on this that I really probably shouldn't have. Or, you know, I kind of didn't have it to spend at the time. Or even, and I don't like doing it, and now I'm a little bit upset that I spent that much money and I'm not going to use this stuff. So, um, you know, I, I, I do like to, to figure things out. I, I really do love to just say, hmm, how can I do that? And I wish I would have done it when I first started collecting all of this stuff. Because I do have to say that some of the things that I have made, I use more often than the ones that I had bought store-bought. Um, just because... I made them kind of to suit more of what I was looking for. They do the same thing, but maybe in a little bit of a different way that I find easier. So, um, 
so yeah, just let me know what you think about that. Think if that's a good series. I am going to try and come back with the journaling series on Thursday. Um, like I said, the studio is about done. I am going to stop spending all my time trying to do that. Well, and that's not what I have been spending all my time on. Life happens and we've had some things going on here that, you know, that we've been having to go through. And, you know, right now I'm still um, just going through um, figuring out Papa's Memorial, which will be in July, um, so that, you know, we can do that because of... That's That was his wishes. He wanted to have, no matter when he passed, he wanted a memorial in the summertime so that anyone that wanted to come, um, you know, because we have a lot of family that will have to travel so that anyone could be here. And that's what we did for my mom's memorial, too, and that's what he wanted. So, um, so there's, you know, just things happen. And because I got out of the the habit of doing things the way that I used to do them, um... I have to figure out a new normal, and I think I'm getting there. So now I am showing you how to construct this glue bottle, and it's going to take a while with all of this glue on it. I probably won't do anything with it at all until tomorrow, um, you know, because it will take that long before it's really good and dry so that I'll paint it at that time. And I probably will not bring you back. Maybe I'll bring it back, and that will be next week's video. Um to give me some time to get some suggestions from all of you to start the new series, but we'll just kind of see. Um, like I said, decorating is not my, it's not my strong suit and it just takes me forever. Even if I, I usually try and kind of figure it out a little ahead of time, but um, it still takes me forever. So whenever you are putting something down with water glue and you want to, like, I want to press these things in and my hands are very sticky from kind of touching the glue and kind of drying, the way to press that down without pressing it down and then having it stick to your finger like that is just dip your finger in the water glue and then use that to push it down. In that way it won't stick to your finger. So now, as soon as your finger starts to get a little bit tacky, you've got to do it again. So, but I want this to be flat on top so that my glue bottle sits nice and flat. And so there we go. That is going to be my new glue bottle. Once I paint it up and everything, it will be perfect. And also what I'm going to do, and this is going to sound silly, but when I have things sitting like on my, these these things are going to be on my table, on a conference table that I will be using for classes, and I like them to look nice. And here's something that I'm also going to be putting on the table and leaving it on the table, and it is just parchment paper. I got it at the, um, well, they call it dry wax paper. It's really not quite parchment. It's a little bit stickier than parchment, but um, it's nice to use underneath if you're painting or whatever. And, you know, you just pull it out one sheet at a time and then the next sheet comes up. So I'm actually going to cover this box with the tissue paper also and paint it. There's 500 sheets in here. It's going to last quite a while. And so I figured I just don't want to look at this box on my table for the next however long it's going to last. So I'm going to decorate that too. And it may be kind of a waste of time, but... That's what crafting is all about. Crafting is just about doing something and enjoying it while you do it. Sometimes people say, well, what are you going to do with that? Well, this I know what I'm going to do with. But sometimes when you make embellishments or you paint a picture or you, you do a glue book and people say, what are you going to do with it? It's not the point of what are you going to do with it. It's the point of enjoying it while you're doing it. And that's all you need to do. It, it's crafting and creating is just all about just letting yourself not think about the stresses of the day and thinking about what you're doing and coming up with something that you say, hey, that's pretty cool. Or coming up with something where you say, I don't like that, covering it up and starting over. So, but let me know what you think about the new series and um, I will start that as soon as I get some suggestions and that will be starting hopefully Fingers crossed, because I know so many times I have said, I think I'll be back next week, but I really think I'm on a roll. I hope I'm on a roll, and I hope that this is going to work. So 
Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.